What's up, guys? Welcome to the TMG Podcast. This is actually today's, today's episode. Today's free episode. Ah. But if you want uh, the bonus episode that went up today as well, you can find that on our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash tiny meat gang. And uh, the, the free episode will be ad free as well on there. So, uh, and if not, thanks and enjoy this one. Peace. Peace. All big right, clap from a big back. <laughs> yeah. I ruined today's you feeling episode. feeling big? Uh, no. I Did feel... you just lift or something? <laughs> Those are the words of a man who just <sighs> left the gym. Big clap for a big back. <sighs> you know, man. I had to shut down LA Fitness. I lifted all the weights in one go. I was like, you know, I just got to set the high score. L- you went to LA Fitness? Yeah. I kicked They're down the open? door. I kicked down the door. I was like, I have to get this done. Um, and uh, everyone outside was doing push ups and stuff. And they watched me lift a barbell that was 40 feet long. I wow. deadlifted every single weight in there. The crowd went wild. People asked me to kiss their babies and shit. I said, close it up. No one ever needs to come back here. And the owner of LA Fitness was like, you're right. You're and, right. And everybody go home. <laughs> You're down. right. I was paying a bunch of fines anyways <laughs> yeah. to be open right now. So <laughs> No, uh, I did my first session on our heavy bag and I had like, I crumbled my back. <laughs> Shit, fucking, I can't, I can't even laugh. Like if I laugh, <laughs> the middle of my back feels like it's, it's going to break or something. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I did a little deadlifting this morning. So what can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Uh, that's funny. That's really funny. I can't wait till I'm back on the on the lifting train too. And this podcast is just us going. Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> dude, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> See, I can't even ow, do that. Ow, ow. I can't even. Ow, <laughs> ow, <laughs> fuck, ow. Uh, I want to start this episode by reading what could possibly be the most stressful thing I've ever read in my entire life. I already know. Yeah, and then we'll talk about what we would do maybe if we were in this situation. But okay, yeah. this, is a, this, is a, this is a quote from an article. I mean, like, it's a portion of an article. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but this is the most important part of the article. Mm. Um, your cock is mine. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me? Is that's that the one about the dude that was hacking into? No, uh... no, 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 no. Okay, is that not... your fucking? Is that your text messages with your rep from Sweetwater Sound? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> your big beautiful cock. Hey, Cody, just doorway. checking in. Is your your cock is mine now? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you don't know what that, have we ever talked about that before? I think we have, but if you don't, yeah, just yeah, just tell them real There's quick. There's a website where you buy audio gear called Sweetwater. And it's the place you go. They got everything. Yeah. But they they basically took like the Zappos approach to customer service, but then but then put that on steroids. Mm-hmm. Their approach to customer service is like so frustratingly over the top. Yeah. That these guys will text us. I haven't bought something from Sweetwater in uh like uh, eight to months to a year, probably. And this guy texted me yesterday and said, hey, it's uh, so-and-so from Sweetwater. Just wanted to check in, see uh, how life is treating you. And then I sent that to Spock and Noel because we used to joke about it all the time. And Spock sent a screenshot of the Instagram DM that his sales rep (laughs) sent him. (laughs) The dude found him on Instagram somehow and DM'd him (laughs) and just checking up on his life. Oh, my God, man. So good. Hey, hey, man, I, I noticed your Instagram is doing well. Um, I just want to recommend a few plugins that might motivate you to create some yeah. cool music for I've been upcoming checking out, posts. Yeah, dude, I've been peeping your social blade recently. I've noticed the followers, the uptick in followers has really, uh, you know, you've been popping recently. So I think we better, why don't we get you some gear, right? Your little theme song maybe for Instagram or something. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want one of them to DM me and it's like really rude. Hey, you little slut! You haven't bought anything in a little while. Like, your cock is mine now. Your cock is mine now. <laughs> hey, little gear slut! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that term. Hey, little gear slut! Let me Slutty. fill let me fill your fucking gear hole with something nice. Gear hole. <laughs> it's a big sale on. And rolling synthesizer plugins. But she'd love that. What's up, you dirty little audio slut? Uh, ooh, who's my little audio file? You are. What are you looking for? 
little XLR, plug your hole. Hey. I, I know they're going to show up at my fucking door one day with like a oh, gift yeah. basket. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's from Sweetwater. <laughs> Mind if I make your cock <laughs> mine? Wait, Luke, can we can we censor his name there? I think that actually might be his name. I'm not trying to dox this guy. I'm not trying to get him fired. But and also, like this isn't really a dig. Like it almost kind of makes me want to not shop at Sweetwater because it's so like, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I- invasive. Like yeah. it's really like off putting. Like I got a text from a random number and I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not knocking Sweetwater's customer. I think good customer service is way better than bad customer service. Yeah. Like, this being over the top is not the end of the world. I'm still going to shop at Sweetwater because it's the best. But, like, it creeps me out a little bit. Yeah. You know, maybe <laughs> just, like, we just, like, mix it up. It's always, a like, a guy named, like, Zachathan or something. Like, it's, yeah. like, I feel like it's always Zach, Corey, Mike... You know, Alan, it's like this weird, you know, default realm. Yeah. Throw, get a Yuri in there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mix yeah, it yeah. up. Yeah. You know, how, how dope would it be if it was like, hello, Cody, it is Yuri from Sweetwater. Yeah. You're like, oh. Oh, shit. What's up, boss? I was just enjoying my morning vodka. Thought I would text you. <laughs> you know, to see how your audio needs are being kept up to. <laughs> You know, fucking just add anybody in that bitch. Just, you know, uh, uh, just mix it up. That's I think that's my only advice. It doesn't always have to be uh, some guy who also likes to work on cars kind of thing. <laughs> I know I'm going to come downstairs one day. He's going to be cooking breakfast for Kelsey. That's, yeah. Like, that's like, like, hey, babe. It's Corey met, from Sweetwater. Have you met Corey? He's fucking awesome. And he makes the best <laughs> banana pancakes. Seriously, he's killing it. <laughs> I'm like, What? <laughs> Why are you in my house, dude? Oh, I just, uh, I know you just hadn't ordered anything in a while, so I just want to make sure you're good. I just want to make sure everything at home make is sure all right. good, yeah. No, Kelsey's really sweet. <laughs> She's super sweet. We get along really well, so. <laughs> Starts threatening you <laughs> subtly, so you continue purchasing. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe, uh, you may, may, maybe if you got some new gear so you guys could work on something something new together I yeah, wouldn't have to come back here you know maybe I wouldn't have to make her breakfast because uh, you got, you, you'd, you'd be entertaining her with some sweet new gear and just just a thought bro that reminds me speaking of getting cucked um, nice hold on that reminds me I still haven't read the most stressful thing no I know we'll, we'll, we'll read that in a second okay okay what man I watched what was that? What was that Korean movie that? Uh, man, it was. Was it a couple years ago? Fuck. Train to Busan. No. You watched that one? Uh, I can't remember if I, I think I did, and then I'm looking on that 2016. I think that's it. Let me. Me Excuse me. Nice, Jesus bro. Christ, man. So, someone's got to help me out with this. But uh, uh, I watched this Korean film. It was about like, um, oh, it was like this dude who would like study with this girl, and she had this rich boyfriend. And man, it was uh, whatever. I'll I'll re- <laughs> I'll recall that film and bring it back. But that shit reminds me of that. Sounds dope, though. Yeah, it was very dark. It was, Sounds super it was, dope. It was crazy. Anyway, um, okay, so most stressful thing ever. Here we go. Most stressful thing ever. Oh, this is just. Hi, Cody. This is Corey from Sweetwater. I see you're forgetting <laughs> your uh, what you wanted to say on your podcast. Just want to let you know that I've actually written out your talking points um, just in case. I've actually been hacking your phone and paying attention to your browsing history. Just want to make sure you're good for your upcoming podcast. Also, <laughs> Hot sale on uh, standalone compressors this week, and I thought you could definitely use one for the podcast. <laughs> uh, just that's uh, from me to you. I'm just thinking about him, like me not responding to his text because I never did, and then him like two days later just sending a picture of like my Instagram password and being like, <laughs> like "What's up now, dude?" <laughs> just just want to let you know, <laughs> I have this. 
<laughs> not something like darker. It's just like a picture of you, like a picture like, of like, like you walking around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. From some like, camera from far away. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> so I'll make sure you're uh, shopping at Sweetwater, homie. <laughs> anyway, the most stressful thing ever. Okay, most stressful thing ever. Okay. Yep. Okay, you ready? I think I'm ready. Okay, put your pants on because this is a, this is brutal. This is oh. gonna make you. And uh, people have probably heard, seen this, but it's going to make all of us feel, uh, it's going to make all of us sweat. Yeah. Stefan Thomas, a German-born programmer living in San Francisco, has two guesses left to figure out a password that is worth, as of this week, about $220 million. The password will let him unlock a small hard drive known as an iron key, which contains the private keys to a digital wallet that holds 7,002 Bitcoin. While the price of Bitcoin dropped sharply on Monday, it is still up more than 50% from just a month ago when it passed its previous all-time high of around $20,000. The problem is that Mr. Thomas years ago lost the paper where he wrote down the password for his iron key, which gives users 10 guesses before it seizes up and encrypts its contents forever. Oh, man. Are you frozen? You looked very committed to the bit there. Which What bit? When when the power went out on your shit, you said, <laughs> this is the most stressful thing. You read it, and then your face was just like... <laughs> no, 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 that's not a good... Right? It was more like this. <laughs> I think... I think that it was so stressful that my whole system was like, fuck this. Yeah, wow. it was so stressful that your, yeah, the grid shut down literally around your place. <laughs> so, guys, the power just went out of my place randomly and in the middle of that. And mm-hmm. so, uh, basically took half an hour to get my whole system up and running again because I couldn't figure out. Nothing fucking works. PCs suck ass. Fuck you. You know? I'm just sick of everything, you know? <laughs> Wait, you really burned a half an hour? It was like 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah. and now we're going to be late for the fucking, it's just, it sucks, you know? I hate, I have stressed me out so much in the middle of reading the most stressful story of all time. Yeah. So my, my video file on my side probably corrupted. So we're probably going to have to use a zoom and my zoom face is all like the aspect ratio is fucked up. So <laughs> zoom I mean, face. nothing good, you know, there's nothing good ever, you know, my zoom nothing face. can be easy. What'd you say? My zoom face. I like that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Zoom face. This is my Zoom face. <laughs> That's going to be the modern O face. It's going to be the modern my version Zoom of Office face. face. <laughs> hey, dude, did you just look over your current cold weather wardrobe options and get a chill? It's time to ditch that old sweater and upgrade that jacket. Your clothes are fucking trash, bro. <laughs> a Stitch Fix personal stylist can help you pick new pieces that are timeless. Stitch Fix offers clothing hand-selected by expert stylists for your unique size, style, and budget. Every piece is chosen for your fit and your life, and it's the easy solution to finding what makes you look and feel your best. Try on pieces at home before you buy. Keep your favorites and send back the rest. Stitch Fix has free shipping, easy returns and exchanges, and a prepaid return envelope is included. There's no subscription required. Try Stitch Fix once or set up automatic deliveries. You'll pay just a $20 styling fee for each box, which gets credited towards pieces you keep, and there are no hidden fees ever. Stitch Fix has styles and clothing to fit any occasion for women, men, and kids. They ship all over the U.S. and available in the U.K. as well. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash TMG and guilt. You'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash TMG for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Stitchfix.com slash TMG. So, what? yeah, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Let's, start, let's talk about the um, two the guesses. Two guesses left out of 10. Out of fucking 10. And the worst part is if he doesn't get it, and it, it like encrypts itself and he'll never... Like, it just lost. $200 million just lost. Like, dude, that makes me sweat. I would, I would like, what would you do? I would kill myself. <laughs> like, fucking $200 million? And you got to live with that for the rest of your life? That yeah. you could never, that you almost had it if you just weren't such a fucking idiot and lost that piece of paper. I just wouldn't even try. I would just perpetually say... Yeah, I got 200 million stored away. I got two guesses left. 
So you'd never actually guess it? No. Because then you wait. still kind of feel like you have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then what if you think, what if you think, oh, fuck, I definitely know it? What if? You don't. You don't think so? No, you don't. You don't know what it. What if one morning, like, you have some crazy dream, or maybe maybe you take some DMT, and you rock it off to another world, and you see the password, like, engraved in Mars, and you're like, that's it. I'm 100% sure that that is the password. And you go, and you do it, and it locks you out, and it erases everything. Like, there's going to be a moment in life where you probably think that you definitely know what it is. So I'm saying. You just leave it at the two guesses left. Yeah, but if you get it, then you, you're you a fucking bajillionaire. You can do whatever the fuck you want. No. Unless I find that piece of paper. Never trying. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I don't think I could ever live with that. Because then you're going to have to convince yourself, yeah, but life isn't about money. It's about oh, yeah, you you gotta finding gotta fulfilling of... family. And all, yeah, no. you got you to become all spiritual and shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's no, I find... Uh, no, you I know, find yeah, peace and... Me. Yes, yeah. I meditate now. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Do you meditate to get away from the fact you fucking blew <laughs> $200 million? Because that's what it sounds like to me, pal. Yeah. You know, generations of your family would have been fine <laughs> after this. <laughs> If you hadn't have fucked it up, <laughs> you'd be a hero. Uh, you know what's crazy about 200 million? It's still 100 million after capital gains tax. <laughs> <laughs> it's still enough money to buy your old high school and rename it to your name and then nutsack at the end of it. Yeah, and then fire the one teacher that didn't believe in you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That said you were going to be nothing. But you now still- you are nothing. And you're you're still, nothing, and they were right. <laughs> you still probably have 99 million left. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck, man. You're talking about some I real would... sick shit here. Now, now I understand why you want to become a billionaire. You know? Me? No, I understand. No, not you. No, not, no, I mean, maybe you do. I just mean the general desire to become a billionaire. Because, you know, I've never really had that desire to be like, oh, yeah, I want a billion dollars. Yeah. Do you think do you think billionaires are made or do you think they come out the womb like I want a billion fucking dollars as soon as they l- understand what money is? I, I was talking to my friend. He he makes a lot of money, and uh, he's a business guy. He's business guy. He's what you would call a hustler. He goes and, to a different uh, school, but like you wouldn't know him. But like you yeah, would, no, you wouldn't know him. I'll, I'll tell you who he is afterwards. Oh, I think I told you about this guy. Maybe he's a great guy. I love him. Love him to death. But I was in, I was visiting and I, and I saw him and he's like, he's been through a lot of like uh, turmoil in his businesses over oh. the past couple of years. Well, go ahead. Maybe I think I know who this is. He looked at me in the eyes and he said, I want to be a billionaire. That's my goal. And I'm not fucking around. I'm not going to be happy until I'm a billionaire. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> and he's 30, I think. Yeah, he's my age, 30. Billionaire. Okay. Billionaire of 50 though. Is it even worth it? I don't know. I, I see. I don't. The only thing that I think that could be uh, worth it about being billionaires, you could actually make change in the world. Sure. Like if you want, if you wanted to, you have the resources to actually make a difference. Yeah. In terms of whatever it is, like you can hate. Elon Musk and I and I don't even know. By the way, congrats to our boy for being the oh, yeah. richest man. Shout on out Earth to our now. guy. Shout out to our fucking boy. It's, it's crazy how we're homies with like the richest guy in the world. <laughs> like on planet fucking Earth, that's our boy. We have yeah. his address. You know, I told him that the night that we were there. Yeah, I told him that we were. I mean, he was sipping his scotch, mm-hmm. and uh, he was like, "It's a school night," and I was like, "No, but dude, listen to me, man. <laughs> listen to me." I think that you one day are going to be the richest man on earth. And he was like, come on, come on, Cody. Don't fight me like that. I said, no, I, th- I really think so. And look at today. I mean, some, I, I would probably say it was because of me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's so kind of congrats. funny to think about a, a like a, a multi-millionaire sitting around a, a group of billionaires feeling like a small fry. Feeling like... <laughs> I'll never be like you guys. 
you know, I just run a little oil company. I'm not going to be like you guys and then Jeff and Elon and, you know, whoever has to be like, no, dude. No, you will be a billionaire, dude. Just all you got to do is hustle. Just believe in yourself, dog. Never Fuck stop. what the haters say. Never exactly. stop. They hate you because they ain't you. Dude. Never stop grinding, dog. By the way, but guys, it, during our, uh, our, we had a music session yesterday and we came up with an alternate grinder. And it's a social media app that it just lets people know when you're grinding. Yeah. It's like your status is either grinding or not grinding. You can, you can check your, you know, your people's grinding status. Like, bring up. Cody just started grinding. Hell yeah. Well, you know it's me when I check in at 4.30 a.m. Yeah. Every morning. Yeah. Because that's when I start my grind. Yeah. Currently grinding. I'm currently grinding right now. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. Now I'm grinding. How hard would you say you're grinding? Um, you know, like 100. Like I, yeah. I don't, I don't, it's like can't stop, won't stop for me. Yeah. It doesn't, my dentist tells me I grind in my sleep. Yeah. Literally. So, like, it, it never ends for me. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I mean, I took my car to the fucking uh, mechanic and he's like, God damn, dude, you gonna stop grinding. I'm like, nah, <laughs> I don't want any brake pads on my shit. I just want pure grinding. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm grinding at all times. I actually don't have tires on my fucking rims either because I want that sensation of grinding 24-7, just fucking. The car's completely fucked up, dude. It's got like probably 10 more miles before it just falls apart. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that's because I'm always grinding. <laughs> you just got to stay grinding, you know? <laughs> I actually went to, like had a surgery, so they removed discs from my spine so that whenever I squat, I can feel the bones just... Yeah, rubbing straight up against each other. Right, right. I mean, you should, you should, like, even when, even in my downtime, like when I'm chilling with my girl, mm -hmm. and we're like watching a movie or like watching, you know, like the Great British Bake Off or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're you should see us on the couch. Like we're still like spooning, but like I'm going for it. You know, <laughs> like I'm grinding. Grind, yeah. Like it's even like even if we're just parallel, like like horizontal, right? I'm still like yeah, you're still still getting in there. The whole time. Just a little. Clothes on, but like we're grinding. Yeah, definitely. Because I never stop. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that. You're going to be a billionaire, man, with that attitude. You're fucking, <laughs> you're going to be a billionaire. No, I was going to say, you can, you can hate Elon Musk and, you know, he's, he's definitely a, a controversial person right now, but like he also is definitely contributing to the, to, uh, you know, the, the lowering of carbon emissions. Like we wouldn't be anywhere close to, the, the place that we are with EVs if it wasn't for him. And you could also say the batteries probably cause more pollution than they don't, but people are working on battery breakdown technology right now that's going to make that problem go away. <clears throat> yeah. So, and that's all because, and the space, you know, SpaceX and everything, it's all because he has a fucking billion dollars. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, you know, it's cool that all these guys like want to work on the environment and stuff, but like who's going to, you know, who's going to, Who's going to successfully give us the limb lengthening procedure? Yeah. <laughs> like, I get, yeah, that's cool. Like, fucking environment, pollution, you know. But who's going to fucking make my gonna dick bigger, dude? Who's going to make our dicks bigger and Come make us on. taller? Who's going to make us taller? How have they not solved this yet? This is like, we should have did that before cars. Kind of feel like billionaires got their priorities in the wrong place, dude. So that's what we would do. Yeah. If we made a bill. <laughs> Figure out, you know, I, I want to um, apply, you know, uh, uh, socialist uh, I ideas to penis size, height, and age. I want us all oh. to be able to live forever with massive dongs <laughs> and be very tall. <laughs> Because if we all had big dicks, then none of them would be small. <laughs> yep. yep. And that's what I'm looking for. Even if we all had medium dicks, yep. you know? Make the other ones shorter. I Let's know even you've them seen, all out. I know you've then, seen that TikTok. Which one? It's like some girl's like, <laughs> I, I, like I see I what the seen. government does. <laughs> Why can't we just print more money? The kid, <laughs> it's so funny. And the kid just, well, if no, she all goes, penis she says, big? 
Yeah. No, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you finish. <laughs> if all penis big, no penis big. <laughs> <laughs> a subtle crime. She said, uh, all I'm saying is I haven't seen any evidence as to why we can't just print more money. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> all i'm saying is stop stop never if you if you're starting out something like that stop all i'm saying is don't say it <laughs> yeah it's typically not a good thing that comes after all i'm saying is all i all i'm saying is that's the that's the equivalent to i'm not racist but but <laughs> All I'm saying is, <laughs> why can't the government just... <laughs> Stop Brother, it back in. The fucking confidence. Why can't the government just print more money? Just print <laughs> more like, money. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the dude that's in charge of the Federal Reserve? Um, I don't what know, the, the devil. a meme on Wall Street Bets. What the fuck um, is that guy's name? F- Federal <laughs> Reserve Chairman. Uh, I'm stupid. I don't know anything. Uh, J- Jerome Powell. Yeah, you think he's on TikTok? You think he's cruising TikTok? He's, he's like, like oh, he, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys, I gotta make some calls. You guys, have you ever, have you ever thought about just printing more? Well, I mean, you know. Money is a farce in and of itself, but you know, yeah, we can't yeah, just social fucking construct. can't just fucking print more. <clears throat> I mean, you can, you can, but yeah, it's just put says, our nation into horrible. Yeah. It's gonna inflate our dollar, and I mean, be, you know what? In her defense, at a time like this, fuck it, Let's just send it all into chaos. Just print all the money. <laughs> Let's just get through it, man. Just fucking deal with it afterwards. <laughs> Give us one year where everybody's fucking balling, and then <laughs> let's just see what happens. But it won't. It it can't. You can't because then prices are going to go up. No, we there's like a like a government thing. Like everyone is a millionaire for the next twelve months. <laughs> let's see what the Being fuck happens. Being a millionaire happens. is now legal. Let's see what the fuck happens. <laughs> or a billionaire. All right, no, no, no. Just a minute. Just federal just million. federal mandate. Easily millionaire. Okay. Everyone is a millionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. <laughs> that talk about the roaring twenties. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'd be popping off, dude. Yeah. I'd be at eleven in Miami every night. <laughs> For thirty days. <laughs> and then you yeah. realize you can burn a million in Miami in thirty days and you're like <laughs> now you'd burn that in a night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, hold on. I got I gotta speak about this. I gotta speak on this because uh-oh, uh-oh. all I'm saying is <laughs> All I listen. All I'm saying. <laughs> all I'm saying is that the food in at eleven is actually pretty good. Oh yeah. You go there yeah. during the day. You got a great buffet. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um. <laughs> hey there, folks. We just want to interrupt this bit and talk to you a little bit about uh, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and make home makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable, and that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Um, they cut out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get to dinner uh, get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh offers 23 23- 23 plus recipes each week featuring a range of flavors, cuisines, and ingredients. You'll never get bored. Um, I've, it's now a meme. I've been made fun of a bunch of times now for saying bibimbap every single time I do this ad read, but <laughs> we cooked HelloFresh again this week. And so I now have a different one. We made the penne and it was fucking fantastic. It's one of the best. It literally tastes like restaurant food. I'm serious. I'm not, this is like, every time I eat HelloFresh and I cook it, I'm like, I can't believe, like, they must have the best chef ever making these recipes. <laughs> and I'm simping for HelloFresh, really. So, nice, anyways, dude. Sorry, go ahead, Noel. No, you're fine. Well, you know, you can cut down grocery bills and food waste. Uh, they deliver with pre-proportioned ingredients. So you're not overbuying, overbuying, excuse me, uh, which, you know, is a burden on the planet and your wallet. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 10 tiny meat. Use code 10 tiny meat for 10 free meals, including free shipping. That's 10 free meals. Free shipping when you use the code one zero tiny meat at HelloFresh.com slash one zero tiny meat. 
Oh, what was I gonna? Okay, okay. So you you brought up on Monday. You brought up the Army Hammer shit. Mm-hmm. And I said, "What Army? What do you mean Army Ham? What is it? Cannibal? What are you talking about?" And then yesterday I saw he was trending, and I clicked on it, and I just for like an hour and a half just dove deep on that. And holy fuck, that has to be the craziest piece of celebrity gossip that I've read ever. I think. You think it's real though? Uh, I mean... You think he really wants to drink blood? I mean, we so, watched him suck a baby foot. He probably wants to drink blood, man. Well, here's the thing, and... Yeah, <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? And his, you don't remember that shit? That whole controversy at the top of the lockdown of him, like, sucking a toe. <laughs> no. Like, he was, like, sucking his kid's toe. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. And, you know, Army... Army, you know, I don't like putting people on blast, but you did this to yourself. <laughs> Army Hammer is sucking toe. Hold on. This is what I mean. You know, I hate to speculate. It, it, no, no, no. It was the other way around. Son sucks Army Hammer's toe. And there was a video of it? Like he posted it or something? Yeah, we we talked about it. And his wife, like, yeah, yeah. This is the fucking. <laughs> Can you share your screen or something? This is the craziest screenshot on planet Earth right here. Hold on. <laughs> Fucking screenshot, dude. Just just mute it. Mute it before you you share it. Wait, can I play this? Yeah, it's it's T, it's you know, it's TMZ, but like just just mute the audio. Okay, it's muted. TMZ Kids, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> TMZ Kids. <laughs> this happened for a solid seven minutes. His wife was filming it. And they're just letting his kid suck his damn toe. Foot fetish on fleek. Dude. <laughs> First of all, on fleek. Just don't. Yeah, that's what I'm that's my problem with that. It's come on. That's just, over, man. Just don't. <laughs> That's my main problem with this Snapchat story. Oh, this was in 2019. I'm late as hell. This wasn't even during. No, it's relevant, though, because that's what I'm talking about is, is I don't know if they're real. I don't know if they aren't. It's, they seem like they're real, particularly <laughs> because there's a lot of, a lot of girls that are coming out with, sim, with very similar stories. The screenshots all have the exact same style, like in terms of how he speaks mm. and how he writes. Mm. And also, if you go through his like social media history— it's fucking weird. It's Man. so bizarre. Like he did, he posted three pictures on Instagram on the grid of like this pig head. Yeah. That he w was freezing or something. And it was like almost like he was like fetishizing a little bit. And like, I don't want, I don't know. Like maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but like it's fucking weird. I mean, yeah. I don't know. But anyways, if you don't, if you don't know what we're talking about. I was about to I was about to make a joke about his divorce, but I don't, you know, I don't want to do that. Why? I don't want to bring her into it, you know. Yeah, that's fair. You know, she might have dipped just because, like, she's like, "Damn, I really let my husband suck his toes. I really let my son suck my husband's toes. I gotta like reevaluate. I can't be around you, man." <laughs> but I mean, that that's not the like. The, if you haven't seen the DMs that the screenshots of the DMs that people are saying he sent to women, he's basically like a straight up psychopath if they're real. I'm not going to, you know, he need for me, he needs to go on morning television with, with Hoda and whatever that other fucking bitch's name. And he needs to like look to camera and go, yeah, I like drinking blood. <laughs> yeah, I'm really into blood. Like I need it to, from his face, unironically, he needs to go, yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with blood play. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> it's just, a you know, when we filmed uh, Call Me By Your Name, I actually asked if they could put blood in the peach and. I said it wouldn't play well on camera, but <laughs> okay. Here, wait. Can I just read? Can I read some of these? Sure. Yeah, funny. one of these okay. fake DMs. I want to see. I want to see everything. I want to see your brain, your blood, your organs, every part of you. I would definitely bite it. B, hundred percent, or try to fuck it. Not sure which. Probably both. If I fucked you into a vegetative state, I'd keep you, feed you, wash you, and keep fucking you. Like fucking hell, dude! You're even even if someone faked this and wrote it, it's like it's sick. This is the best one. 
<laughs> oh my God, that just made me so hard. It makes me confused as to why. Is that even possible? So hard. Thinking of holding your heart in my hand and controlling when it beats. I am 100% a cannibal. <laughs> I want to eat you. Fuck, that's scary to admit. I've never admitted that before. <laughs> I've cut the heart out of a living animal before and eaten it while it's still warm. Bro. Dude, this, this to me. <laughs> about him writing, I am 100% a cannibal. It's Bro. Like one of the funniest things I've ever heard. This to me Yo, sounds. I am 100% a cannibal. It sounds like when you're 13 and you're horny for the first time and like you're just expressing all of it to somebody. You're like, yeah, I'd, I'd fuck you here and I'd, I'd suck in your boobs and fucking. Like it's just. It seems like the 13 year old version. Yeah. yeah of like I was like BDSM. out in the movie theater. <laughs> I want to cut open your head and it. take your brain out and <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> it sounds like. He, maybe he just has no idea how to talk dirty. I want to cut your head off and cut a hole into your skull and grapefruit myself yeah. with your fucking brain <laughs> i want to eat i want to eat him eat him too i want to eat your brains i'm so hard I'm so fucking turned on i want to put your brains in a blender and then drink it <laughs> i'm 100 percent a cannibal she's like dude what i yo, just real, said yo real talk though what i'm 100 percent a cannibal <laughs> <laughs> yo can i be real with you for a second <clears throat> i'm like 100% a cannibal. You're 100% my girl. And I'm 100% <laughs> a cannibal. <laughs> God damn, man. God damn. Thinking about him writing that out and sending it without even, like, oh my God, dude. You're an A list celebrity. Why are you DMing girls that you want to fuck their brains? Uh, <laughs> You know, like, Jesus Christ. This is some freaky ass shit, apparently. Dude, if they so ever weird. if they ever catch this dude in a fucking like well, you know, now he can't even do simple shit. He can't even go buy chicken without judgment. You imagine being army hammer, none of this shit is true, and he's picking up a rotisserie chicken. It's like hot from the thing from Vaughn's. It's like in the little plastic. Oh, like a rotisserie, yeah. Yeah, and he just makes eye contact with someone. They look at him, they go, <laughs> shake their head. <laughs> He's like, what? what? It's like, you know, I know you're gonna fuck that thing. <laughs> no, I'm gonna eat it. Oh yeah, you're gonna eat it. Or what? After you fuck it, or yeah. <laughs> Surprised you didn't just get one fucking living sicko. Yeah, Jesus Christ! He's like, I just want chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this dude goes to fucking. <laughs> he got. He goes to some fucking fast food restaurant. He's just in the drive thru. He's got a hat, sunglasses. He's trying to disguise himself. You know, he's trying to get away from the drama. Yeah, hi. Could I could I get a number one with with cheese? Yo, is that fucking army hammer? <laughs> yeah, you want this thing fucking living and breathing so you could fuck its brains? You sick fuck. Oh, my God. I'm not a psychopath. I'm just 100% a cannibal. Yeah, I can show you where we actually harvest the meat. You can just go to the farm and fuck the animals while they're still living if you want to. Or no, you don't fuck things that are alive. Never mind. All right, we want to interrupt this uh, podcast real fast to say that Native aluminum-free deodorant is a great addition to your 2021 routine. Native cares about what you put in your armpits. That's why their deodorants ingredients list includes things you've actually heard of like coconut oil and shea butter. Another plus, none of their products are tested on animals and almost everything is vegan. Uh, I've been using this a ton and I like it uh, genuinely. It doesn't make my armpits itch like other stuff. So, you know, I, this is one I'm happy to say that I use every day. Uh, Native is a risk-free uh, excuse me, they're risk-free to try. Every product comes with free shipping within the U.S. and the 30-day return and exchange policy. Plus, they have options, okay? They have a line of sensitive deodorants for people with baking soda sensitivities, plastic-free deodorants if you're trying to cut down on plastic consumption, and even unscented if you're all about, you know, just natural musk. Uh, and you want to, if you want to try something a little bit different, you can check out their rotating seasonal scents. You can even subscribe to Native so you'll never have to sweat about running out of deodorant again. Make the switch to Native today by going to nativedeo.com slash TMG. 
or use the promo code TMG at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash TMG. Use promo code TMG at checkout for 20% off your first order. Holy shit. I, I want to fuck. If I fucked you into a vegetative state, how do you even do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh, my God. And there's so much shit about, like, uh, like <sighs> having slaves and stuff like that. Like what? he was like, Like, there's one where he's like, if you were, oh, oh if I fucked your, oh, I, I've, it basically starts and he's like, and then I would sew you up, I would sew you back up after I, after I came because I wouldn't let you die. That would be a, that would be such a waste for a perfect slave. <laughs> like that's his fantasy is like having like a, just a sex slave that doesn't do anything. It's fucked up, man. Yeah, that's maybe. some serious like serial killer shit. If if it's not like you could, I don't know. I don't even want to. I don't know if it's real. I don't know. I just know that these damn DMs are fucking preposterous. I also preposterous. know that I'm one hundred percent. I also know that I am one hundred percent a cannibal. <laughs> yeah, and I guess like there's a lot of girls that say that he, they <clears throat> gave him their blood to drink, and he actually really likes drinking blood. Get the fuck. I'm telling you, I dove fucking deep into this shit. What? Fucking prove it. What's your blood type? What's my blood type? No, I wanna. I wanna know. I need deets, man. I can't. I can't buy this one. Just out front. It's pretty absurd. Uh, but I mean, at the same time, like, is it that crazy? I mean, we see crazy shit on Twitter every day. But there, are dudes, there are dudes that get whipped on TikTok. So is it that wild that, you know, yeah, I sent Army Hammer a vial of my blood. But this is what I'm saying. Wait, can I show the pictures of these pigs? Uh, like, so you hear. I don't know. I don't really know if I can. Like, I mean, they were on Instagram. They're not well, censored. Oh, no, then it's probably Gucci. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I, I guess I shouldn't write it off so quickly. You know, maybe I should entertain it. Like so, then you see this. <sighs> Quit eyeballing me, and Whoa. there's the, these ones. This is on his grid, man. And then another one where he's like syringing meat. There's no caption on this one. It's just like, like it's so. <laughs> All right, you know what? Yeah, I think maybe he hit some some some, some ladies up with some blood. <laughs> it's fucking weird. I don't know. Damn, bro. Damn. Anyways. That's sick shit, if, if that's real. Yeah. Pretty wild. Army, you fucking, you nasty fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, killing women is your fucking kink? What is wrong with you, man? He's 100% a cannibal. He's 100% <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I'm pretty sure dudes like went to jail for like actually doing that. Like I don't think. <laughs> yeah, is that legal? I don't even think it's legal. <laughs> Eating people? Nah, it's not legal. Drinking blood? I mean. Ah, uh, gray area. Maybe if you're a vampire. You know? No, I mean, if I like, if I was just like giving out blood, you know, you could probably drink it if you want. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't want to do that. I mean, yeah, maybe you I'm just don't. saying hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Army might. Shit. <laughs> Bro, his Anyways, next meet yeah. and greet, they're just fucking throwing all kinds of... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like a fucking used tampon or something. Oh, God. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just... I'm just picturing him just sucking that shit like a shrimp. Oh, no. Oh. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Army have my have my last week. Uh, well, that's the thing is that a lot of I guess a lot of he there was also a screenshot of him 
telling, I don't know if this is real either, but him telling another girl, because she was like, are these real? And uh, he was like, no, they're not real or something like that. But I'm getting tons of DMs from other girls saying, eat me, eat me, drink my blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on. And there's a lot of people on Twitter that are like, oh my God, these DMs are so hot. So maybe it is just the kink. Maybe it is people actually like fantasizing about this stuff. Nah, but. It's definitely a kink. I mean, we know that. But right, but then I also saw something else of this girl that had slept with him that she had crazy, like, bruises around her neck because he was, like, super... Okay. And and I guess they, like, didn't use a safe word or some shit like that. And, I, again, I don't know if this is real or not. This is just Twitter. Yeah. Surface-level Twitter observations, right? Yeah, that's getting but into some... That's what I'm saying. Fucked like, up territory how, there. What are the lines? Where do, Where does it stop being a kink? Like, if you're... This guy that feels like he's on top of the world and you can do whatever you want, just fucking message girls with this shit and not think someone's going to screenshot it eventually, you know? Yeah. Like, then, does that, tra- I don't know, is that, like, I think the real I think, life where you're like, I can I can do whatever? Yeah, I think the line was, like, when he let his son suck his toe. I think that's <laughs> when we should have known this fool is not right. Yeah. It's a different kind of weird, though. That's more of a Tom Brady weird. No, because, you know, Tom, t- <laughs> no. You know, there's, there's a lot of argument about kissing kissing your children on the lips, you know. Yeah. There are people that still do that. But that kid's going to have some weird Freudian foot shit when he grows up. Do you think he even knows what he did? I blame Army. He, no, he doesn't consciously know, but that's going to leave a subconscious <clears throat> thing where he's going to, like, seek out partners with giant giant <laughs> fucking hairy feet you know toes bigger than bigger than his head yeah bro that that to me is crazy picture you got a son you letting your son suck your toe i mean oh are you asking me yeah i'm asking you no like it'd, it'd be like a like when your dog kisses you and you're like stop you know your son starts if you're like on the thing on your on the couch on your phone your son starts you know sucking down on your on one of your little piggies i'm not saying i'm not going honey get the phone this is hilarious i'm not doing that i'm going get the fucking thing out of your mouth this is my toe you sick little perv <laughs> kink shaming your fucking one year old you fucking little freak <laughs> Get away from me. You fucking degenerate heathen. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, that is depraved. <laughs> little fucking demon. <laughs> Get away from me, you twisted little demon. <laughs> Calling your kid a fucking freak for sucking your t- <laughs> You fucking freak. <laughs> <laughs> it's so brutal. Get off my toe, you fucking freak. <laughs> you little perv. <laughs> you sick little fucker. Hey, you creep, get off my fucking foot. Hey, what a creep? Hey, what is wrong with you, you little creep? <laughs> you fucking one year old son. Creepy little fuck. <laughs> you creepy little shit is always sucking on my toe. Yeah, my son's a total creep. <laughs> <laughs> Your kid's just in the corner playing. You're like, watch out for this one, man. Definitely wears socks. <laughs> Definitely wears socks. <laughs> this one's a fucking creep over that here. That kid is 100% a sicko. <laughs> yeah, I think he's 100% a cannibal or something. <laughs> <laughs> a sick little fucker. Dude, my kid is fucked up in the head, man. Seriously. <laughs> Your kid's just teething naturally. You see that? You see that? I know he's thinking about feet. It's it just... fucking disgusting. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. Hey, Junior. What do you think about a toe? Look at him crawling already. Look at that. Fucking Ugh. gross. Oh, fucking disgusting. <laughs> fucking depraved. <laughs> Little idiot. Look at him. So sick. How did I have such a fucked up kid? <laughs> Honey, can you bring me a glass of blood? 
<laughs> you take the edge off. Our creep ass son is freaking me the fuck out. Hi, I'm Army Hammer and I'm 100% a cannibal. <laughs> Army Hammer and I'm 100% a cannibal. <laughs> Timothy, I want to drink your blood from your ass after you are dead. I want to cut off your head and drain your blood into your ass and then drink it like a body shot through your ass crack, your dead ass crack. <laughs> I want to cut off your dead boobs and suck on your dead boobs. <laughs> Holy shit. I would have eaten that peach. <laughs> if you had eat, if you had eaten it. And then I could eat <laughs> I could have eaten your ass ass cheeks. <laughs> that peach would have tasted a lot better if it had eyes in it. <laughs> What a sick fucker, man. Oh, God damn God it, dude. damn. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I feel, you know, I hope, I hope it's not true. I really hope it's not. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I know, me too, but, <laughs> but it kind of seems like, what, who, I don't know, who would make this up? What a weird thing to make up. I'm just thinking about him at regular ass shit. People getting bloody marys, and his fucking, his just like that. That part of him is just going crazy. Just yeah. thinking like that is real fucking blood. <laughs> oh yeah, Mary? give me What's a bloody that? mary. Oh my god, this thing is red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I get it extra bloody? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that makes me so hard. I don't even know why it makes me so hard thinking about. <laughs> the blood and having it extra bloody and then you know <laughs> fucking your brain fucking your brains out <laughs> cutting a hole in your fucking chest and fucking your heart to pieces we gotta stop yeah let's stop <clears throat> it's too let's good stop. though holy shit man i am <laughs> i am one hundred a cannibal though he needs to make that a t-shirt <laughs> i am 100 percent a cannibal <laughs> it'd be really good if he was just like now that I have your attention, get out and vote. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the whole the whole thing is a big a big fucking play for like a plant based lifestyle. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna come out with the fucking Beyond Burger. <laughs> I love the idea of eating live animals, <laughs> just like the rest of you. But maybe I we could make a better change. Live animals. Oh man. Oh, dude, he, he just yeah, he just comes out with his own fucking Beyond Burger, and uh, he like appeal he appeals to that <laughs> murder without guilt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you're having a great time listening to the podcast, but we just want to quickly take a moment to talk to you about Stamps.com. All right, what could you do this year with extra time and money? Well, one thing we learned in 2020 is that the internet is even more awesome than we thought. Groceries online, movies online, it's doctor awesome visits sauce. online, and of course, go to the post office online with Stamps.com. Stamps.com allows businesses to do all of their mailing and shipping right from their computer. No need to leave their home or office or home office. That's right. Uh, we used it before. We used it to ship a bunch of posters out, and it could, could not have been more seamless and easy. Stamps.com brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer, wherever you are. Stamps.com is a must-have for any business, especially now that everything is remote. Uh, it, it is a lifesaver. Whether you're a small office sending out invoices, an online seller shipping out orders, or even a giant warehouse sending thousands of packages a day, Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. Uh, with Stamps.com, you get $0.05 cents off every first-class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail and up to 62% off UPS shipping rates, all right? Not to mention it's a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meters, all right? Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saves you time, money. Uh, and over 900,000 small businesses use it already. So, you know, why not join the crowd? <laughs> so make 2021 the year you stop wasting time going to the post office and go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with our promo code TMG, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone on the top of the homepage, and type in TMG. That's stamps.com, promo code TMG. Stamps.com, never go to the post office again. Again. <sighs> Um, okay, I'm going to change the subject here. I want to talk about uh, Tesla fanboys. Uh, just 
hard switch, dude. I have to because I just came came upon this image. I yeah. came upon this image that you sent. Mm-hmm. This one right here. <laughs> oh, this, yeah, this tweet. <laughs> Man, if you're listening on audio, all right, basically, <clears throat> it's a dude doing a gender reveal on, I don't know what the fuck, this is like his 10-acre vineyard or some shit. It looks like a green screen. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if it's real, but <clears throat> it's him and his lady, and they're holding up the... Uh, Sonogram. Is that what it's called? Yeah, probably. You no, know, they're Sounds holding right. up. They're holding up like the photo booth reel of their fucking embryo. And um they're they're posted up on their model three. And next to it is a baby blue miniature uh what is that? Model the, S. Model S. Yeah. And that's their gender reveal. <laughs> and then he he posted it and then he replied to his own tweet and said, at Elon Musk, sponsor my unborn child. <clears throat> my man. That, is, that like, is that like some code for like, you know. <laughs> is sponsor my unborn child like the Tesla cult shit for like, fuck my wife? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's code for something. <clears throat> Elon, I'd love it if you sponsored my unborn child. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I could sponsor you. How, how do you like Tesla that much? It's a fucking, I mean. It's like really a lifestyle for these people. It's like they fucking love Tesla. They love buying Tesla stock. They love <clears throat> talking about Tesla. It's like Teslas are cool, but like it's just a fucking car. You, and you know what? I, you <clears throat> know what I can hear already? What? Ah, uh, uh, dude. You fucking like the Fast and Furious, Noel. Like, you're really into cars. It's the same thing. It's not. It's not the same thing. It's not really. Yeah, it's not really no, the same. No, because if you're like a little tuner head or a gear head or, or you know, petrol head, typically you get so into the into your car because like you work on it. You build it. You save your money. You buy parts for it. You make it faster. It, like, becomes a part of you because you put energy into it. These shits came out, like, and they're just... To me, it's like loving a Roomba and creating a, a community around a Roomba. It's just yeah. like, oh my God, it's revolutionizing cleaning and you know, just the whole home care space. It's like, how do you give a fuck that much? Yeah. Yeah, it's like at <clears throat> least at least I guess in other car um spaces, it's like there there's a lot of variety. Like people yeah. get into the differences between cars and how yes. the one's faster and one's not and the mods you can do. Every Tesla is the same. Is mm-hmm. Everyone is just collectively waiting for the next software update for them to be different. <laughs> right? And I, I admit the software updates are fucking cool. Like Kelsey's dad was just showing me his, his one. They just did an update where you can now play music out like on external speakers in your car. Nice. So when you, and you can like play fart sounds and you make your like honk sound different. Yeah, barn. It's fucking wonky I mean, it's slush. Hilarious. Like stuff like that I like Teslas for, like zany little quirky shit like that that make them different from other boring cars. But that's it. That's as far as it goes. No, that's definitely a reason to like start a podcast and you know, <laughs> buy three of them and have Tesla t shirts and hats and you know, fingerless gloves. Yeah. Tesla underwear, Tesla yeah. socks. Tesla tequila. Gotta yeah. you know, smash that. Tesla every flame time door. Getting, getting lit. Te- uh, Tesla shoes. Tesla condoms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tesla. even when I'm fucking, dude. <laughs> even, even when I'm fucking, I know Elon's not too far away. You know Elon is going to fucking put out a vibrator. You just know. Yeah. He's just so deep in the battery game. Yeah. He's going <clears> to... <throat> well, we, uh, we figured when you're sitting around at the charging station, some people find that they fold down the back seats and... Who like to enjoy each other's company. So we came up with a sort of self-pleasure mechanism in the car. Mm. So we've partnered with Sibian and we've actually put the nub in the trunk. Mm. So when you follow down all the seats, your wife can ride. And she can literally fuck the car. Or you wow. can. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> That's wonderful. Have you ever had elk meat? <laughs> well, yes, I have. Alive. I actually cut open an elk and 
Army Hammer, thanks for joining me. <laughs> Army Hammer, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Yeah, you oh, know, I'm... Man, I'm, crazy world. Crazy world right now, man. What do you think about everything that's going on right now? Well, I'm just excited to be here because I don't know anyone else that shares such an, a passion for meat like uh, like, oh. like you do. Like, and I know, yeah, you appreciate it. I've seen those, what you post on Instagram, the, the few of the pig head. Yeah. I've seen that. That's... Yeah, that's I'm more of an elk man myself. You ever had elk meat? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh man, you throw it on the grill and get a little salt and pepper on there. Get inside medium it. Medium rare. It's brains. That's how I what? You ever, you ever had an elk brain? An elk brain? Wrapped no, is that some sort of thick cock? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, speaking of cocks, we should address what the hell you were saying at the top of the episode. Your cock is mine. Ah, uh, I know. <clears throat> It's a little late now, but is I'm that still a, gonna that could read be a bu- nah. That's a that's a solid bone zone one. I feel like the okay. chat's gonna go crazy on that one. Okay, oh yeah, that's fair. We're that's gonna fair, tell that one in the we'll bone. Keep it, we'll keep it, we'll keep what it. we should do though, real quick, since we got a short time and we don't want to talk about it forever, is that Lewis Hamilton post, that fucking baby filter post he put up. Oh my Let's god! Just throw How- that on screen. Okay, yeah. How is he not even. <laughs> <laughs> with the bucket this hat, so dude. Good, dude. Prada bucket <laughs> hat and the fuckboy necklaces. Like he's got three necklaces on. Bro, he put this on his story, then he cropped <laughs> it, and he put it on his. He he put it as a static post. Yeah. With the same, the caption is the same text, and then he yes. tweeted it. My fucking man. Bro, he the- obviously thought he was. He looked. Like fly as hell, bro. The baby filter kills me. What is that filter? And this, <laughs> this angle from up here, with the hand in his pocket, with the hand in the just, fucking, just just laxing, just being cat. Can... It's it's cute, you know. It's like it's cute. Like he looks like alpha, but he also looks like maybe he's got like a softer side, you know. <laughs> like he's just just relaxing. It says thank you all for the birthday wishes. I hope, and, I hope pray. and pray wherever you are, you are staying positive despite what's happening around us. Uh-huh. My birthday wish is peace and love to all of you out there. Oh. <laughs> no more pandemic and equality for all of us. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. My birthday wish is peace and love to all of you out there. No more, <laughs> no more pandemic and equality no for more us all. No more pandemic and equality. <laughs> I don't want any, any, any. equality. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how that's that reads. Freight. No more pandemic and equality for us all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you needed a period in there, dude. Put the stop. I want to put a stop to equality. Equality and the pandemic. Really, dude? You want equality? You want, okay, give up Give up $300 million. <laughs> <laughs> to us, please. To us. You want equality? Give, give us $300 million, man. I want that bucket hat, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you because I believe in manifestation. And if we put it into the universe and we come together, I believe we can get there. It's not really his voice at all. Sending you all love and positivity. Damn. Oh, so Lewis. Hot, dude. <laughs> He's so hot. Oh, I'm praying as well. Bro. Bro. <clears throat> This shit, dude, my birthday wish is peace. Like, <laughs> that is such some cult leader shit. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? That's like oh, a yeah. guy in like fucking uh, like Laurel Canyon with like a group of 15, you know, pale women who take psychedelics, like obsessed with him. You know, that's some shit he says to them. Well, this is, this is the best part too. Okay, so <clears throat> oh, yeah. his birthday wish is equality, right? And his birthday wish is peace. That's oh, what yeah. he wants. He thought in his head when they said blow out the candles... He thought, and, and make a wish, he thought, peace, and then he blew out the candles. No. Like, let's also didn't. talk about his fucking rumored requirements for him to race another fucking year. Four-year, $200 million salary, okay? <laughs> $50 million a year. Doesn't end there. No, no. He wants 10% of the Mercedes winnings, which is a fuck ton of money. Fuck ton of money. Let me Google that real quick. How much did F1 Mercedes win 2020? Um, constructor's title. Uh, how much money does the winning team get? A hundred million. <laughs> so he, he just 10- wants another, just another ten million on top. <laughs> just a little <laughs> sprinkle that on. He also wants a limited production AMG one car, which to me sounds like you know that's like a driver's version of their own shoe. He wants his own shoe. Okay. Um, and then this is the best: a role that goes beyond being a driver and more than a mere testimonial. What? even is that in yeah, the context of a Formula One card. Dude. What do you want to be? 
Like, what, what is that? What else is there? I mean, Cody was saying he wants to be the only music artist that can mention AMG in music anymore. <laughs> like, they every fucking rapper gets a cease and desist, and only Lewis can talk about Mercedes cars. Unless he gets a little percentage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. See, a little royalty has got to be cut in. You want to talk about Mercedes like that. Yeah. I don't um, see. I don't see. It's weird. I don't see peace on here at all. <laughs> maybe they maybe they cropped it. Was there a fifth bullet point that said yeah, peace? Just peace. <laughs> <laughs> and and also equality as well. And equality as well. <laughs> now you can want those things in two hundred million. You can want both. Yeah, you can want equality and also two hundred million dollars. Yeah, why not? Why not? It's fair. Yeah. Bro, I just, I can't, like, <clears throat> the great part is, is ever since I started bringing this shit on the podcast, the small amount of F1 fans we have, they're always, like, sending me his stories, and they go, man, this has completely changed the way I look at this dude. <laughs> the amount of shirtless running story posts that guy has. Yeah. Like, he's got more than Todd Smith in a in a month. <laughs> Like, shout out Todd. Todd, you do your thing. You run. It's a genuine thing. You're like, I'm out here on a run. But Lewis, I'm surprised that guy doesn't have that fucking phone on like a, like some kind of like GoPro rig from his waist. Yeah, yeah. So he can run two armed. Yeah. (sighs) Pull his hair back. (laughs) It's fucking hot up here. Yeah. In Monaco where I don't pay taxes on my hundreds (laughs) of millions of earnings. Fuck, I want world peace. (laughs) <laughs> I've just been thinking about how badly I want world peace. <laughs> it's so gets, nice up here in Monaco. I wish all of you could see this. He just I, wish, th- I, wish, I wish everyone in the world lived in Monaco and we were so all So they people. could see the... <laughs> they could see the world like I do. They could see the peace brewing on the other <laughs> side of the sun. And he gets a fucking, literally a thousand DMs every time. Oh my God, Louis. <laughs> oh my God. Fly me to Monaco. Fly me to Monaco. Oh my god. Ew. You know he's reading those like, oh, ugh. Ugh. fucking disgusting. <laughs> no, never. Ew. Never. Fucking. <laughs> he's just so look judgmental. Look at, this, look at this fucking <laughs> swamp donkey that just DM'd me. <laughs> fucking disgusting. <laughs> he like immediately. Look at it. Absolute monster. <laughs> Ew. I think she has three eyes. Ew, look at her. Look at her. Look at this bitch. She's wearing glasses. <laughs> fucking disgusting. This bitch thinks I'd fly her to Monaco, bro. I wouldn't fly her to fucking home. <laughs> it's just fucking rude as shit. Just so- Super <laughs> shitty. <laughs> oh, fuck. She's a two. Ugh. Ugh. Fucking puked in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking orc that just damned me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, look at this fantastic Ford <laughs> villain right here. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. You need the Avengers to work on her. Jesus Christ. Look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. That's it. I'll... Oh, see you guys in the bone zone. <laughs> I want world peace. Ew. It's a fucking zero. God. <laughs> How are there people this ugly? <laughs> Absolute oh. goblin. <laughs> Fucking. Look at this little gargoyle that just did. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in the bone zone. Remember, world peace as long as you're hot. Peace, man. Also, I'm 100% a cannibal. Yeah, and don't be ugly. All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>